The European Union has proposed to its members new nuclear safety measures that would require periodic reviews of all reactors by multinational experts. The EU's executive arm, the European Commission, put out the new safety directives draft on Thursday. The goals are to increase transparency and set up what it calls a European system of peer review for nuclear power plants following the Fukushima nuclear accident in 2011. The directors require legally binding peer reviews every six years for all 132 nuclear reactors in operation in the bloc. The commission would form a verification committee to urge member nations to step up safety should problems be found at any plant. The proposals include boosting the independence of national regulators so that special interests cannot override safety objectives. The commission also wants to obligate member states to build emergency response centers on the premises of nuclear plants to effectively cope with any emergency. It aims to have the proposals approved by member nations next year. Iran's president-elect has promised to follow what he calls a path of moderation. Hassan Rouhani laid out that path in his first news conference since winning the presidential election on Friday. He said the first step will be showing greater transparency. We will resume negotiations over our nuclear program with six global powers. I believe a breakthrough can only be achieved through dialogue not through threats or sanctions. U.S. and European leaders imposed strict financial penalties last year to encourage the Iranians to abandon their nuclear program. Rouhani said what he called an old wound needs to be healed. But he said his government would not halt the program. He called on U.S. leaders to recognize Iranians' right to use nuclear power for safe domestic uses. Rouhani is expected to be sworn in early next month to replace outgoing President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant are struggling with yet another problem. They found contaminated water leaking from a tank inside a new filtering system. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company say they discovered the leak during an inspection on Saturday. TEPCO has been testing the filtering system since March. It can remove almost all radioactive materials. The officials say the leak occurred in the welded section of a storage tank that holds radioactive water. They say the water has dripped into a pan below, but has not leaked outside of the filtering system. Contaminated water has been building up at the plant at a rate of hundreds of tons per day. TEPCO wants to use the new system to decontaminate it, but it has halted tests to investigate the cause of the leak. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is now on a tour of Europe. He will join the leaders of four Eastern European countries on Sunday for a summit meeting. Abe arrived in Warsaw, Poland on Saturday evening. This is the first time in 10 years for a Japanese Prime Minister to visit the country. He will have talks with the leaders of Poland, Hungary, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Abe hopes to confirm with his counterparts that they will step up security and economic ties based on common principles of freedom, democracy and the rule of law. China's growing presence in Eastern Europe is one issue on Abe's mind. The five leaders are to issue a joint statement following their talks. It will call for periodically holding high-level talks among the countries, as well as seminars on security and official development assistance. Abe is also expected to promote Japan's nuclear power technology when he meets separately with the leaders. A Japanese-American farm owner has held a charity event near Los Angeles. He wants to help farmers affected by the March 11th earthquake and tsunami in northeastern Japan. Glenn Tanaka and his neighbors began holding the annual event after the disaster struck two years ago. The farm was open to the public on Saturday. The entrance fee was $20 per person. Visitors enjoyed vegetable dishes and fruit. Photos of the disaster hit areas were on display. Many people bought charity t-shirts with the kanji characters for hope printed on them. We still uh, acknowledge the fact that they're going through a lot of hard, uh, hardship and um, we're just here to support everybody. I as a farmer know and realize what's happening and of course I don't want to forget them. For me, being a farmer, it was uh, definitely my, my way of reaching out and want to be a part of that and help out. 
The organizers will donate the proceeds to 14 farmers in Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures.